Noel Healy, Dublin captain. Third year in a row here and third year against Cork. You've lost the last two, as you well know. What's the mental approach this time? Um, uh, it's just the same as you prepare for any game, really. Um, you know, going into the Donegal game and going to the Mayo game, we kind of try to just focus, um, I suppose, mostly on ourselves, on what we do well. Um, looking back on the Mayo game, we had a lot that we felt that we need to improve on, so that's kind of what we've been looking at the last few, game, last few weeks as well. Um, seeing what the mistakes we made, see what we did well, see what we can improve on. So that's kind of mainly it. And then I suppose um, we've, as you said, a lot of experience playing Cork, so that hopefully will stand to us as well coming into the game. But the last two years, you've lost them in the final and the scars must be there. What's different this year? Um, well, I suppose the, the team um, itself, we've kind of had a, new few, a good few people coming back in. Um, Sinead Ahern obviously back in, Leah Caffrey, Siobhan Woods and Deirdre Murphy um, have all made huge impacts for us as well. Um, Nicole Owens, who would have been um, probably used as a substitute for the past few games, has been performing really well. Um, as well, Aaron McGee coming up minor. So, you know, there's a lot of few different personnel. So um, I suppose from that point of view, it's, it's kind of a different method of preparation for us. The support last year was incredible and here the blue and red all over the place, over 30,000 and they're aiming for even more than that this year. Do you think they'll get it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've been talking to a lot of people who've been asking about my game. I suppose with the lads playing, there's been a good buzz around the city. Um, people have been saying, you know, I can't wait to come to your game. And people who have been excellent have been saying, oh, I'm definitely going to bring my son, my daughter to it, um, which is brilliant. And that's where I got my first exposure as well. My first trip into Croke Park was for ladies final. My dad brought me in. So um, hopefully, you know, the cycle will continue and we'll have a few people sitting in the stands who eventually will be out playing on the pitch. Do you remember the year? Do you remember the game? I do, actually. It was, um, it was Mayo. Uh, it was a Mayo game. Um, that was, I think it was probably, God, it might have been 2001 or 2002 um, that I was brought in and uh, Mayo won. And what about your club? Is there much support coming from there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're, we're lucky enough to have five players on the team, myself, Circa, Deirdre, Kira, and Colleen, so there's a big, great buzz around there. Um, we were playing the county final a few weeks ago as well, so you know, there's a good buzz around that and around the ladies section in general. Um, and the team, there was a great crowd from our club at that, and a lot of them I know are really excited to make the trip up here as well. And this year is different. You're captain this year. Have you thought about that and your responsibilities and what you need to prepare on the day, maybe even thinking possibly about the likes of a speech after the match, before the match, and what are you going to say to the girls? Um, yeah, I suppose it's kind of always in the back of your head. Um, we'd be lucky in Dublin that we have a lot of leaders. Um, I'm you know, the captain, but then I've uh, Lindsay and Goldie. Um, who were captains the last two years um, and even in that you know Sinead O'Hearn and Circa Furlong are all big leaders so um, we kind of find that it's not necessarily the same people making the speeches in the dressing room before it's kind of kind of what happens naturally a few people might speak up so in, in from that point of view it's, it's not really kind of something that you'd meant to prefer, prepare with them um, it's very much a shared kind of leadership in the, in the team.